Hey everyone, welcome to Dr. Munglish channel. So in this video, I will be going over uh, the relationship between statins and how it leads to diabetes progression. So an article published in ZAMA Internal Medicine in October uh, 2021. So it shows uh, association of statin therapy initiation with the diabetes progression. Let's get into little more details in this particular aspect. So what exactly are the statins? Statins are most frequently used drugs to lower blood cholesterol levels. Statins will competitively inhibit HMG-CoA reductase enzyme which is a rate limiting enzyme in the synthesis of cholesterol in our cells. So as you may know higher cholesterol levels in the form of LDL that is low density lipoprotein is associated with increased incidence of hardening of blood vessels called atherosclerosis and atherosclerosis in turn it will lead to cardiovascular diseases like heart attack and stroke. Though dietary modification and lifestyle changes may lower blood cholesterol levels but at times cholesterol lowering medications like statins becomes necessity to decrease blood cholesterol level. The most commonly prescribed drug to lower blood cholesterol levels is statins. Now in a recent article that has been published in uh, Zama internal medicine. So it is a large cohort study which indicates an association of statin therapy initiation with diabetes progression. So it is published in October 4, 2021. So overall this particular study is a retrospective matched cohort, cohort study. So it so involves 83,022 pairs of statin users based and the outcome of study it shows that diabetes progression outcome occurred in 55.9 percent of statin users when compared to 48 percent of active comparison group. So that means diabetes progression has been seen in patients who are using statins over a period of time and also the escalation of anti-diabetes medication including use of insulin has been seen after the use of statins. So this re retrospective matched cohort study found that statin use was associated with the diabetes progression including greater likelihood of insulin treatment initiation, significant hyperglycemia, acute glycemic complication and increased number of prescription for glucose lowering medication classes. The risk benefit ratio of statin use in patients with diabetes should take into consideration uh, especially its metabolic effects. So this is uh, one of the retrospectively done cohort study using a large number of uh, sample size it is uh, 83,022 pairs of statin users and active comparators. So this is a very large retrospective study showing an association but not the causative mechanism of diabetes progression with the use of uh, statins. So the information is important which helps to address risk benefit ratio of the use of statins. So this risk should be carefully weighed against the significant benefits of statins. It is important to note the benefits of statin in reduction of cardiovascular events and mortality which may outweigh the risk of diabetes progression and escalation of diabetes therapies including anti-diabetes medication and insulin therapy. In a patient who cannot avoid taking statin medication, it becomes important to emphasize a healthy lifestyle with smoking cessation, regular exercise and a healthy diet as an essential part of the therapy which will help in the reduction of the risk of diabetes progression. So exercise caution in initiating statin therapy and while on statin therapy for lowering blood cholesterol level and also which will be helpful in prevention or progression of diabetes mellitus in patients who are on statin therapy. So that is all about um, the recent findings which has clearly outlined or at least uh, a retrospective show, uh, study which has clearly shown there is an association between a statin therapy initiation and also progression of diabetes mellitus especially leading to insulin insensitivity or insulin resistance that will lead to progression of diabetes mellitus. 
Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Till then, you take care.